de casualidad tenía justo 100 dólares. Te voy a dejar acá. Ahora lo va a tener que ver. Miren. A ver. So, you are one of the richest musicians in England. I have more than Paul McCartney. At this stage, look, is your music against the establishment or against the low interest of the bank? Well, firstly, that's not... Uh, this is... That list, that list... is not true. It was alphabetical. Well, it was... Uh, it was uh, it, that's, it, that's all the list was. B, Bowie, the old the joke of the alphabetical <laughs> order. Absolutely true. <laughs> it's true. No, I don't. I think the story is nonsense. I ah. mean, it's really... I'm not... No. No. Well, uh, 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 we know you study Zen. Yeah. You study Zen, uh, I mean, for your spiritual growth or just to be patient when you are dealing with your manager? <laughs> so uh, fix motorbikes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the book? There's a very famous book in America called, uh, it came out about 25 years ago, called Zen and the Art of I think motor, <laughs> small motorbike, <laughs> motorbike maintenance or something. <laughs> Zen and the Art of the Motorbike. It's true. It was a real uh, book. And I, I Who wrote that? The Hill Angels? I think, yes, I helped. <laughs> Heaven's Angels. <laughs> I will give you, give you a kick in your ass, but Sam. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the Spice Girls? Look, are they a marketing product or were they created in an orgy among the Bee Gees and the girls from... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Bee Gees, I mean, it's like, the, I, I think they fuck the people from ABBA. You know, the, the Spice Girls grow. Oh, no. Huh. I, I'm not a Spice Girls fan. I, I don't know anything about them at all. Mm. It's not the kind of music that uh, I buy or even listen to. What's the kind of music you buy? Your personal music? You say, okay, uh, give me your experience from Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah, you, absolutely. You That's but, a fantastic album. Yeah, yeah exactly. I oh, prefer well, older Spooky albums Tooth. like that. <laughs> Spooky Tooth. <laughs> Remember, I used to work with Spooky Tooth. We used to play shows together. Now, no. I'm one of the only living people that actually used to work with Spooky Goods. I am the only living man that I bought. Actually went to I bought the Spooky Goods, no. But I bought the Spooky Goods album. Oh, Spooky Goods. Um, um, well, I tell you. No, no, yeah. I tell you. Uh, the, the most recent album I bought was uh, a re-release of, uh, the, you know the band called The Pixies? The Pixies? Yeah. The band? Yeah. Did yes, you ever hear that? That, that? That's the kind of music I like. I so the Pixies, the, yeah. Yeah, the, they, disband, they broke up about three, four years ago, and they've just already released their first album. You, so you, you I got the that. vinyl album, so you got, you, you, I've you got, got the originals just, in your I just, I've got the originals, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of money. No. For me, I mean, for me, it's a lot of money. My wealth comes mainly from my in, exquisite record collection. Ah. That's where my money is. You have your own albums? In Actually, in, most in of my vinyl? money goes to Marlborough. <laughs> most of my money I put into Marlborough. Yeah? Oh, yeah. And AT&T. So phone calls and cigarettes. That's that's how I spend my money. Coffee, coffee. coffee. Yeah. yeah ah, here I have a question about that. Uh, the difference between the catering you asked for 20 years ago and now. How is your the, the catering you ask now? The catering. The catering. Uh, now is vitamins. Now I rum. now I ask for food. <laughs> food. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know, oh yes. In those days we were no, no food. No, no, food was. But we feel great. Food was not on the menu. Yeah. Sure. Please, bring me everything, but not food. No food, please. We don't need We're going to stay here a few days in this room, so right. it's okay. <laughs> Just close the curtains. <laughs> bring the girls and girls. Between British food and Argentinian food, don't you think American food is the worst? I've got to say, I honestly believe now that British food has never been better. It, it is the last few years, the standard of cuisine in England is just terrific. Really do, good. Do, yeah. Great food. Yeah, it's like Brit rock and you know, Brit food. Those are the two <laughs> things all Europeans talk about. Have you heard Oasis and have you eaten uh, British beef? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not really beef. British. British beef. <laughs> maybe not British beef. Uh, Charlie Watts from the Rolling Stones says uh, a while ago that he loved to tour because in his home he wasn't allowed to play drums. I mean, he, he... <laughs> so what happened with you in your house? Uh... Yeah. Actually, I can play, with, uh, I can with, play yeah, guitar I know, no? anywhere, but I can't play guitar in the bedroom. I'm not allowed to play guitar in the bedroom. Why? I'm serious. Why? John Lennon Kirby, you know, why? Well, I think nothing else... It's would, good to play, you know. Nothing else would get done. Can you move your guitar so... <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only two of us in this bed. And not... Oh, please. <laughs> <it's just>, uh, <laughs> I have another one here. Now, the big moment. The big pathetic pathetic moment in rock history. I, I, uh, I don't know if you're going to agree with me. 
the big pathetic moments in rock history. First, the press conference. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'd, yeah, I'm due to do one in a few uh, minutes' yeah, time. <laughs> Second, Creedence Clearwater Revival Washwood. <laughs> 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 also the shirts. Also the shirts. <laughs> yes, maybe so. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Lou Reed, same song all over again. <laughs> I can't say that. I like. Is it I like what? No, I, I, I like. I like some of his new material. I think Lou is still writing well. He's writing well. Honestly, I, I do. I think so. He's, uh, uh, you know, going. I tell you, the big surprise is uh, really the new Dylan album. It's fantastic. The new Dylan. Oh. Oh yes, everybody speak about it. It's about fantastic. Him. It's uh, he's really he's I'm, writing like. But a, he's you or Christian now or, or half and half? He's, uh, <laughs> he's uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Say, um, or, or no, I not. Yeah, yeah. it might be Amish. Okay. You spend more time writing a song or choosing your outfit or clothes? Uh, thinking about the difference, I think. Yeah. I do both very quickly. I, I, write, I write songs very quickly. Yeah. And I just wait till a stylist comes to a photo session and they put clothes up and then I steal some of them. Oh. That's how I shop, generally. <laughs> That's really this good. is so I can save my money, so I can buy more Marlboro and make more phone calls. <laughs> never waste and cigarettes, don't never forget. Never waste money on clothes, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just got off a plane, you see. What's going on now? Which music represents the 90s in England now? I mean... Oh, mine. Mine. Oh, sorry. You <laughs> <finished the question. laughs> this is me. I mean, Oa Oasis, Oasis. Oasis. <laughs> Oasis, or are they still the Beatles, or what? What happened in England well, now? Well, I think, no, I think Britpop the jungle. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Brit, Britpop, or whatever you want to call it, is really divided into two. There's the very popularist stuff, like Blur, Oasis, Pulp, yeah. Spice Girls, I suppose, that kind of band. Yeah. And then on the other side, which is more underground, but yeah. I think is the more vital music, yeah. is uh, bands like Goldie, Tricky, yeah. maybe oh, Tricky, P, Tricky, P. Tricky. PJ Harvey. I don't know. Do you know PJ Harvey? Yeah, She's wonderful. Uh, maybe Porter's Head, um, Fotec. Uh -huh. Those kinds of artists, for me, represent the new British music mm. very much. So the but, other stuff is more like Woolworths. You know, it's, but, it's but in your album now, you, you heard that kind of group and you say, I'm, going, I'm going to, to, be, to get influenced by these groups. No, or, I or thought, you just no, go ahead. No, I thought, I'm going to be better than those kind of groups. <laughs> And I will put a better show. Yeah, yeah. So you, you have to tell me tomorrow night. But what, what we think, which you know you will, yeah. uh, what we try to do with my band is to take the feeling and the percussive side of dance, modern dance music, yeah. industrial, jungle, drum and bass, whatever, yeah, yeah. Oh. And, but, but also put it together with very aggressive live rock instruments. Yeah. Because usually, when you song, see with, with and songs, very song. strong always, melody lines. Always song, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you, you get yeah. that. Get that so it's more or less a, a hybrid of the two kinds of things. Yeah. Uh, well, um, you want a cigarette? You don't smoke, do you? Uh, I, I, I don't smoke. Watching a Sting, watching Sting act in a film. Yeah, he's right. Watching Jack, uh, Mick Jagger in another one. Honestly, don't you prefer your own acting? No, I think Sting's very good. <laughs> yeah, Sting's very good. No, I don't. I don't care about my acting. I don't. I don't enjoy my films. <laughs> no, I suffer when I'm making a movie because it's so boring. Yeah. And I have no ambitions in movies whatsoever. None. It's not a priority of mine. My priorities are making art, uh, either painting or sculpting, and making music. Those are the two. Why things. always musicians be begin to de they, they began to paint from a? I think maybe with why? Britain. Miles Davis. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Well. Uh, because in Britain, it's been very traditional for most people in rock music to come out of art school. Nearly, oh, yeah, we, it's yeah, always that's... been like that, from uh, uh, the Davis Brothers and the Kings, yeah, the, Kings. Uh, the yeah, Who, were... Pete Townsend uh, and uh, say Keith Richards and the Stones, yeah, they passed John the Lennon, art school and then the music. always art school and because they're lazy, they uh, <laughs> just like play their records and just play guitar. Yeah, they passed the Gordonstown school yeah, and they go. That's exactly, and so we, we were both through that, it's the same with me, my background was as uh, an artist when I began, but I made more money playing the saxophone, which is what I did originally. What do you think about I played the tenor saxophone. What do you think about the, your, your playing the saxophone? Really bad. But... <laughs> in he said it. In I don't say But it's inescapable. You can't escape my playing. Now I'm going to play it some... It will you like a bad smell, you know? <laughs> <laughs> But it, it fits with the music. Yes, it that's always what fits with the music. Yeah, yeah. Technique I don't have, but I have a good heart. David Bowie, one of Thank you very much for that. Oh, it's now my pleasure. No, no, no. Have a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Esa fue la entrevista con David Bowie.
de hoy a la tarde. Ah, ¿quiere, que fui? Si quiere ganar el dinero de mala ley, no tengo No, 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 de problema. mala ley. Fíjese lo que hago simplemente. No tengo. Era David Bowie, lo acabo de comprobar. Era David Bowie. El que no era era usted. Era un, era un tipo muy parecido a usted, pero usted no era. Se lo voy a dar igual, pero de mala ley. Mire. Sí, ¿eh?